pretty people. Hello, it's Randy for Thunder Horse Ascendant. I am here for Jesse James Beats today. And you guys, so excited. Today, we are going to talk about chakra. So, I have all of the chakra stones that Jesse James just launched on the website. It may have been last week. Anyway, <laughs> that's not the point. The point is, is that we are going to make a number of projects using the chakra stones uh, with Jesse James and collaboration with Dakota Stones. The strands that they just put out and i'm super excited about it but before we move into those projects there is going to be a number of projects in this video um we're going to kind of get them going one after the other so um but just to show you how you could use these beads to make a bunch of different types of projects including jewelry for men um stretch bracelets wire wrapped bracelets wire wrapped necklaces memory wire and earrings right it's like a lot of stuff so i'm gonna there may be a little fast forwarding anyway before we get into that i will make sure to leave a timestamp in the description of this video so if you go down to the description you're going to find a timestamp that's going to say start the beating the reason for that is before we move into that we're going to talk a little bit about chakra about what it means and what is all associated with that so let's get on into that and then we will move forward okay so we're going to talk a little bit about chakra and what it is. So if you're not familiar with chakra or Reiki or any of those types of things, um, we're just going to briefly cover it. Now there's a, I do not, this is my disclaimer. <laughs> I do not claim to be um, a Reiki expert or a chakra expert or any kind of expert really for that matter. <laughs> I just am going to give you some information that is available to everybody on the internet. Um, it comes from, do, do, do. I want to say hotline, but I'm not sure. Anyways, I'm going to give you um, some information from an article. And um, you can do further research by yourself. But the moral of the story is that chakra is uh, how energy flows through the body. Okay, so I'm just going to read you this, what it says. We're going to talk about each chakra and elaborate a little bit at the end so like i said if you don't want to educate on this go ahead and move to the timestamp for the beating portion so this says what is chakra so chakra is a sanskrit word uh, chakra means disc or wheel and refers to energy centered in your body these wheels or discs of spinning energy each cor corresponds to a certain nerve bundle and major organs in your body so Basically, if you've seen a photo, I'll show you the photo. This is a pretty general photo of chakra. These are how they line up in your body. You can see that they each have a different name. Okay, and so they're saying that these are, are bundles um, of nerves and how each chakra is associated with a bundle of nerves and organs in the body. To function at their very best, your chakras need to stay open and balanced. If they get blocked, you may experience physical or emotional symptoms related to a particular chakra. There are seven main chakras that run along your spine. They start at the root or base of your spine and extend to the crown of your head. That is uh, said that some people believe you have at least 114 different chakras in the body. So if you're looking for chakra, you're not going to find... Uh, a generalized list of chakra because even these people are saying there's a, a number of chakras related to different things there's different stones related to different chakra energies just as an example i'm looking when i first looked at the bundle of beads uh given to me by jesse james i seen that there was two heart chakras and one is green and one is pink so i was like okay so that's part of it um, the chakras most often refer to any of the seven main ones, and we'll explore those more in detail. So here is the detail. So basically, right here at the top of your head is your crown. So uh, down here, you're going to start at the root, root chakra, sacral chakra, solar plexus chakra, heart chakra, throat chakra, third eye chakra, crown chakra. Okay, and they work their way up with different colors. So it says, what is the root chakra? The root chakra is located at the base of your spine and it provides you with a base or a foundation for life. And it is helpful, it helps you to feel grounded, 
and able to withstand challenges. Your root chakra is responsible for your sense of security and stability. So as we're moving forward with this project, the chakra in relation to the stone that they have picked out for root chakra is grounding energy. And it looks like it says red jasper. Okay, so the stone meaning in relation to the chakra meaning, and it says the root chakra is our grounding energy point governing one sense of stability, safety, and strength. Red jasper activates this chakra because of its grounding properties and helps to associate, uh, I'm sorry, so helps to assert one's boundaries. So you see where we're going with this. The sacral chakra is located just below your belly button. This chakra is responsible for your sexual and creative energy. It is also linked to how you relate to your emotions as well as the emotions of others. So for this, we have carnelian. Um, the sacral chakra is our central point of creativity, passion, and sense of adventure. Carnelian activates the chakra by promoting creativity and giving courage to pursue one's dreams. Solar plexus. The solar plexus chakra is located in your stomach area, is responsible for your confidence and self-esteem, as well as helping you feel in control of your life. So for solar plexus, Jesse James and Dakota Stones have given us yellow jade. Um, the solar plexus chakra is at the center of our personal power, identity, and authenticity. Yellow jade activates the chakra by boosting optimism, self-improvement, and guidance when making decisions. So you guys get the idea. Next, we move to the heart chakra, which is um, located near your heart in the center of your chest. It comes at no surprise that the heart chakra is all about your ability to love and show compassion. So for the heart chakra, we actually have two options. One is green crazy lace, which I love because like the laughing stone. Um, the green or the heart chakra acts as our center point of empathy, love, fearlessness, and trust. Green agate is tied to the heart chakra for its belief to assert and fortify blood circulation to the heart. Another option for heart chakra is rose quartz, and it helps to activate this energy's point of being open, of opening the heart in all forms of love. So, dependent on your need and meaning you would go either way with that uh throat chakra the throat chakra is located near your throat and this chakra has to do with our ability to communicate verbally so for throat chakra we have um aquamarine the throat chakra promotes self-expression and a health healthy internal dialogue that's important as a throat chakra stone, aquamarine is excellent for enhancing and aiding all types of communication. Uh, the third eye chakra is located between your eyes, and this can, this can, uh, I'm sorry, you can thank this chakra for a strong gut instinct. That's because this third eye is responsible for intuition. It is also linked to imagination. So for the third third eye, we have sodalite and lapis they have given us, which is also English cut or star cut, which is really cool. Um, the third eye chakra is the uh, center of wisdom, imagination, self-awareness, and intuition. Find balance with lapis, the stone of total awareness, and sodalite, the stone of logic and intuition. All right. The lastly, we have the crown chakra. And the crown chakra is located at the top of your head, representation of your spiritual connection to yourself, to others, and to the universe. It also plays a role in your life's purpose. So for that, they have given us amethyst. Uh, the crown chakra is our sense of spirit and is helpful to promote a healthy spiritual life. Amethyst is also known for calming, calming properties and assisting the crown chakra by bringing tranquility to the mind right okay so super good these are all of our chakra 
this is our chakra information like i said they can be fit they can be found on you know in articles books all kinds of information about there out there about chakra but also uh it's very nice that they have uh jesse james has included the little chakra and the stone meaning and how it applies to that so if you're a person who's making jewelry and maybe you've started to sell your jewelry one of the things i do is i include this information um about the stones and why I use them. And you could put that in your description on Etsy, or you could put it, you know, write it, type it out and put it on a little card for next to your jewelry at the craft show or whatever you're doing. It's good. So let's get this party started, shall we? To start our party off, we are going to line up our players in the game here. We have Root Chakra. Sacral Chakra, Solar Plexus, Heart Chakra. I decided to go with the Green Crazy Lace. You could also go with the Rose Quartz if you wanted to. Uh, throat Chakra, and Third Eye Chakra. Oh, and Crown Chakra. So we should have seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. We do. And I know you're going, okay, Randy, there was like other stones other strands in the collection one of them was lava rocks we are going to use this one as a base and there was another heart chakra with the with the rose quartz and i'm going to use that one as a base as well so i'm just putting these to the side for right now we are going to i'm going to get my little cups out and i'm going to just line them up just like this take them off the strand and keep them in order so i know what i'm doing because i feel that the order um if when you're doing this type, I'm going to raise you up just a smidge. When you're doing this type of uh, jewelry with the chakras, it is important how they are lined up. So we want to make sure they're in order. So we're going to go with the root chakra. I'm going to take that off there and I'm going to put it. Oh, I didn't get that little guy out there. I'm going to put it in here. Okay. And I'm going to line them up like this. So we have all of our players out here. We have Red Jasper. I'm just giving you a little look-see at everything that's in that strand. We have Carnelian. We have Tiger's Eye and I believe Yellow Jade in there got those star cut star cut some people call them english cut star cut um i just want to see oh yeah these yellow jade are wide hole or wide yeah white large hole wide hole whatever you want to call it so those would go on leather fyi on that it does not look like the tiger's eye is um this is the green crazy lace so again there's two options for heart sh heart sh heart chakra um, I went with the green crazy lace because I believe crazy lace to be like a happiness stone, a laughter stone, more so the blue crazy lace, but all crazy lace in general, I think. Um, crazy lace is an agate, mostly comes from Mexico. We have the throat chakra, which is aquamarine, and it does look like the aquamarine as well is large hole, which is going to go onto a leather cord. Um, so that's cool because not all of the stones on here are large hole just the genuine aquamarine ones um because getting ge um, genuine gemstones that are wide hole uh i know you can get them uh from dakota stones which is great that they were in on this collaboration with jesse james um these ones are sodalite lapis and sodalite i would guess that these are sodalite but they are wide hole large hole again so you know that's kind of interesting and i'm just thinking to myself 
Uh, I wish, I wish that all of these, this one doesn't have a wide hole, this one doesn't. I was just saying, I wish that all of them had wide holes so that we could do a leather bracelet with just the gemstones. That would have been really cool. But, you know. Uh, these ones are amethyst, and they got that star cut English cut on there. And so anyways, these are all of our chakras to be working with. Now these are lava stones and I actually use lava rocks a lot. So if you're not aware, lava rocks um, are porous. So you can use them to put your essential oils into and um, carry your essential oils with you. So a lot of times people will use lava rocks in their jewelry making so that their jewelry can be a diffuser that can be worn. So that's why uh, it's important to note about the lava rocks. And then these ones are the other heart chakra. These are um, the rose quartz and all of these ones are faceted, but they are just regular holes. So FYI on that. Okay, so now, like I said, we're going to do a bunch of different projects and I'm going to show you uh, a few different projects to do. The reason I'm doing this is because when I got all of the strands and I'm thinking to myself, okay, so I've ordered all of these strands. If I want to use them like chakra, I wanted to think of a bunch of different projects that I could do um, in a timely fashion because I don't want to lose track of what I have here, you know. And also, um, if you bought all the strands and you want to use one from each, you know, one bead from each to make the chakra, then you know, let's do that. So here we go. First things first, I have my bracelet beading board. Now I will say I don't use this often, but uh, I think for this purpose it's probably important. Also, don't mind this, you know your girl spilled coffee on it. <laughs> so what we're gonna do with this first off is I'm going to sh um, make a design using the chakra that I would make for um, either a man or I would make for unisex bracelet. Um, so it's going to be a stretch bracelet. I'm going to be using a longa cord. Um, if you're not familiar with a longa, a longa is a beetle on product. This is a one millimeter elonga cording from beetle on, and it's going to be a stretch bracelet. Okay, so I'm going to use that as my stringing portion. So basically what I'm going to do first is I'm going to use this one. This is the largest ring. It's seven and three-fourths inches. Um, I might even do an eight, but we'll, do, we'll work with this first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in. So remembering that with chakra that the, the order is important. So I'm going to start over here, and I'm going to grab... root chakra well this is supposed to be red jasper the red jaspers are around rondelle so that's we could always just use this agate i guess so i guess we're going to go with the agate and then for the next one i'm going to grab one of the carnelian and then here I'm going to grab one of the yellow jade. Now this does have a large hole on it, but I'm going to use a different, I'm going to use um, spacers in between once we get it lined out. So I'm not too terribly worried about that. Uh, then we're going to go with the heart chakra, crazy lace, the aquamarine, the... Um, the third eye, I'm going to use a sodalite. And uh, for the amethyst, is also like a rondelle shape. And then I'm going to use a lava rock at the end. And for a light, white light, I'm going to use... Uh, Like, do I want to use this rose quartz right here? I don't think I do. No, I don't. 
Okay, so here's, we kind of got to adjust. You see how these are all not the same size? And I don't really love that. So what I'm going to do is I am going to switch this out for the red jasper. And I'm going to switch this carnelian out. And then it looks a little more better. A little better. Um, I'm actually going to use two of these red jasper down here, I think. No, I don't know if that looks very good either. Well, I guess I'm just going to go with one. All right, so this is what we have for our color situation for the chakra. So this is representation of the chakra. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to take the lava rocks, lava stones, and it, oh, it looks like they're tapered, so... I'm going to grab all of the lava rocks out of here and it looks like there's three large ones. I'm going to put those one in the back, one right after our, let me zoom you in so you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> Scooch this ever so slightly. Okay. Oh, I'm trying to maneuver all my stuff without losing my beads here. Might just have to move them. It's fine. Okay. So, here's what we got. I'm going to put the... There's three large ones. I'm going to put those like that. It looks like there's four middle-sized ones. So, I'm going to build those down. I got three of these. Okay, so I got two I could put there. I got one random um, lava stone, so I'm going to just put him back. And what I'm going to do then is I am going to go over here to my heart chakra. And these ones are rose quartz, but they are nice. And I'm just going to sprinkle those in because everybody needs a little love right and so that's what we got little love and then from here what i'm going to do is i'm going to be sprink i'm going to be putting um i would i'm, I'm gonna have to see if there's silver enough and what do i need one two three four five six seven eight so i need eight daisy spacers or some kind here Preferably silver. I like silver. So those are gunmetal. One, two, three, four. Five. Six. Oh yeah. Seven. Eight. Okay, I got eight of these little tiny silver daisy spacers out of um, the third eye chakra, the lapis and the sodalite. Okay, so I'm going to put those in between my stones there. Okay, so another thing you could do is if you did not want to go with these rose quartz, you could add these silver spacers in instead. I don't know that I would add these ones because they're kind of pokey on your wrist. But it looks like we've got four. Let's just try. We've got four silver spacers. Mm -hmm. We could do that. And then we would have space for one bead. How about you could add then just two of the rose quartz? kind of nice or you could go with two of the agates which also looks nice I kind of like the agates because I was kind of going for more of a masculine look here a little bit so maybe like that I think that's better okay so those came from the root chakra the first one the red okay all right so I am going to get this started 
I'm going to bring you up here a little bit. Okay. So in order to use a longa, now that we have our design, what you have to do is you just get yourself a little amount here. I'm going to get about a foot. You don't need that much, but I always like to have more than what I need. And I'm going to stretch it, pre-stretching. They say you don't have to pre-stretch it, but you know, you know. I don't know. I'm just used to it. So I'm pre-stretching the Alonga. Okay. And put that right there. I got my bead stopper. Okay. And then I'm just going to get a little piece of this uh, uh, wire. This came with the beads. I'm just going to use it as a leader wire. So I'm just going to cut this little end off. I'm going to use this as a leader wire. So what I'm going to do is after I've pre-stretched everything, I am actually going to fold this in half. And I'm going to put this on the ends here, like so. I'm going to put my leader wire in this loop. And this is the setup. Once I have it in there, I can kind of squish it. All right, now I'm going to put these beads on. Now that I have it beaded, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie it up. And before I start doing that, I'm going to reach for my GS Hypo Cement. I'm still using this tube with the alley on it. <laughs> Don't mind that. It's still good. Um, and I'm going to show you how I um, try to hide the knots with my longo cord. So I'm just going to take this leader off and I'm going to take off the bead stopper. And so you can see on this side I have a loop. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the little tails and go through the loop. Okay. Then I'm going to grab both tails. And I'm going to help the beads get kind of in the place where they need to go. I'm going to do some stretching because we want this to be closed up. You know, we want these beads to be moved down. And you may have to help it along, you know. Because you can see we're getting a lot of excess tail now. Okay, so you don't want it to be too tight so that when you tie it up, and someone puts it on it snaps but you also don't want it to be too loose because if it does you know move a little bit then they're gonna have slack and you don't want that either so you're just gonna pull that up like that okay and once you got it where you want it to go you're gonna take your two tails and you're gonna do a surgeon's knot so you went one go around two pull it down Then you're going to go again, one, two, okay, and then once it's in there like that, you should be able to pull it this way and lock in that knot, 
So you should be good to go at this point. There should be no issue. You don't have to do a whole bunch of knots or anything. You can do more if you'd like to. Uh, that's completely up to you, but you should be good to go. So there is some fraying, but that's on the tail, so I'm not worried about that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this little smidge of my hypo cement. So if you don't know about hypo cement, it comes in a little tube like this, got a little needle on it. I'm going to kind of stretch this out and go to the knot. Now I'm not going to try not to put the needle directly onto the alonga cord just for safety purposes because it is metal and you're, it might break your cord for some weird reason. Okay, put that over there for now. And then I'm going to bring this knot whoop, into this bead. And he's got glue on him and he's got a little bit of tail. I got it. See, I got to get my stuff covered up here. In there, you. All right. So now he's in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get in here with my scissor, give him a snip. Okay. Give it a little, little bit of stretch so it pulls the rest of that tail in there. And I'm like, where did it go? <laughs> if it comes out, just make sure that you get it in there with the glue. Once it dries, it's going to, um, you know, the glue will dry inside the bead. It's not going to come out. And so there you go. That is project number one with the chakra stones. A stretchy unisex bracelet, I would dare even say, um, for the man in your life um, with the beads on. So there you go. Project number one complete. Project number two. We are going to make a little pair of earrings, okay? So I'm going to pull out this little faceted stone. It's like a little puffy coin. Moving on to the next chakra, I'm going to use, oh, this one has some little tiny like rice beads in it. They look like they might actually be coral. Moving on to the next solar plexus it has a little tiny, oop, it has a little tiny crystal. Uh, the green also has a little tiny crystal. And I'm actually going to use this little stone here from the throat chakra, moving down mm -hmm. okay. So actually, you know what I'm going to do here? I think I might use a big, big one. All right, so this is what I have, representation of all of the chakras. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get myself a head pin. I have some longer head pins. These ones are like three inches ball head pins. And I'm just gonna wire this up. And these are all representation of the chakra. However, now that I'm looking at this, I have to go the other way. Instead of doing the large purple one, because that has to go at the top of my earring, I'm going to use a larger, I'm going to use the red jasper down here. So it goes this way, because this is the bottom. The root chakra is the bottom. Okay. So, let's see, looks like they got a little red bronze spacer in here I could use, so I'm going to use that. And then I'm just going to add these on. Oh, 
I'm only using one of those. And there we go. That is a representation of all of the chakras. And you could pick and choose any stones that you wanted to use. You could use the bigger stones if you wanted. Totally up to you. I just thought for earrings, we better make sure we can, you know, they're not too long, you know. So. Oh, I hear Jakey toes. It's my hound dog. I don't know why he's on the move. I don't know what he's doing. So I'm just giving all that a work card in. Okay. One little pair of chakra earrings. All the chakras are represented. Project two complete. For project three, we are going to do a wire wrapped link bracelet. I'm going to do an average seven. So the first thing I'm going to do is again make sure all of my chakras are represented before I move on to doing anything else. And for this portion, I think what I'm going to do, because we've got more space to work with, we can use more than one bead. I'm going to use a couple of beads from, so like these are a couple of beads from the root chakra. So I'm going to use, these ones will be on a link. Moving on to the next chakra with the red carnelian, I want to make sure that's represented. And for that, I would like to use some bead caps, but because there's only a couple of strands with gold, and there's more strands with silver. I'm going to grab some silver bead caps that I think will work from a different section here. So I'm actually going to use these here. And that'll count as one link. And then um, for this one, I'm going to do a link of the jade. Now that jade is wide hole, so I'm going to use, ooh, here we go, I'll use these. Um, I'm going to use these, I was like, oh, I could use these gunmetal ones, but I don't think I want to do that. So, these bead caps here from Throat Chakra, they look a little smaller. So, I'm going to do those on there. <clears throat> uh, crazy Lace. I think that one I'll just do by itself. It's a pretty nice big bead and it has a nice... Uh, has some nice striation on it so I'm gonna do that one my loan aquamarine here I'll do that I'll do also with the bead caps or yeah I'll do it with the bead caps aquamarine with the bead caps gonna do one of these um, <clears throat> sodalite well 
I'm pretty sure these ones are soda light and these ones are no those ones are soda light these ones are lapis these ones I know for sure are lapis I'm gonna do one of the English cut and then for the purple I think it would be weird to have two um, star cut next to each other. I don't know why. Just in my head. So um, these are uh, uh, genuine amethyst. So I am going to use these two. And I'm just going to put that between two of these little purple crystals. And use that as my link. Okay. So everything looks good there. Um, just kind of pushing it all together so I can kind of get a gauge on what we got. <clears throat> I think I can put in this black lava stone as well because then it'll be diffuser bracelet. And we'll start with that and we will move on because um, this one we are going to do with 22 gauge um, artistic wire. Wire wrapping them into links and connecting them to make a bracelet. You could also use 20 gauge if you like. You know, up to you, preference. I think I'm going to use 22 gauge. Okay, so I just got myself a little piece of this 22 gauge wire. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to do wire wrap. I'll show you how I'm going to do a couple of them. And then we'll be good to go. <clears throat> so, what is it, Jakey? My Jake dog is so hot, he just had to come down here to the basement and lay on the cold floor. So, I've got a lot more wire here than I need, but I'm just going to be reusing this piece. So, here's going to be my first link. And now for this, I am going to use jump rings to connect it. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. Not everybody likes a cold connection. But I feel like for my bracelet that I'm making here, um, it would be better um, for movement wise. So I'm going to do that. So I'm just going to make up all these links. So there's one. So again, this is 22 gauge beetle on artistic wire. All of these items can be found on the Jesse James bead website. And I do have an affiliate code. I will leave it down in the description box for you. Now, that one's being silly because it's kind of got a bigger hole on it. Let me try one of these. How's that? Yeah. That one should be okay. So I'm just putting them here, laying them out so I can keep track of them. So I'm going to wire up the rest of them, and then we will come back to see me put it together. 
got all my links made. Just checking in with you here. Use some more of these beetle on links or beetle on links, beetle on jump rings. And we're going to start connecting. So I have all of my colors represented and I've kept them in order and I'm just going to put them together in this order. So root chakra. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> um, sacral ch chakra. Solar plexus. Mm -hmm. Heart chakra. And I did all of these a little bit different. Just kind of fun. Throat chakra. Oh, and when I had to use the, the wide hole beads, I made sure to use bead caps on those to, you know, because they're a large hole. So got that going on. Third eye chakra. Crown chakra. All right. So to finish this up, I want to measure it first and see after I got it all put together where we're at. So we are looking like with the um, clasp, it is going to be seven. So that is an average size. I am going to go ahead and leave this lava stone off and we'll just use that on another project. So I am going to close with a lobster. Let me see. I have um, the Beetle on Variety Pack here in bright silver. So I am just going to grab some items from here. And I guess I could do a lobster or I could do one of those little guys. But I think I'll just do a small lobster. And then I might even use... You could use one of these endings, or you could use um, an extend an extender. I think I, I think I want to use an extender just because then, you know, if I want to make it adjustable for other lengths, then I can do that. So I am going to put the lobster right here. Looks like I gotta grab an extension chain because I cleaned my desk. Hold on. <laughs> extension chain. And there is our chakra bracelet. If we wanted to put a little something on the end, 
we could do that. I'm just going to grab this little guy. He uh, came from the crown chakra. And all I'm going to do to attach him is just grab a jump ring and attach him right to this tail. And there we go. Check it a little closer. You can really see. And now all of our chakras are represented. And that is the little bracelet. Now we are actually going to make a necklace to match this. It's I'm going to use the same exact pattern. So I'm just going to go ahead and wind those up. And I'll be back and I will show you how I'm going to put together my necklace. Pretty simple, but to match. Okay, guys, so all I'm going to do to make this matching portion is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to pull out all of the same beads from here. Looks like these ones might have to be just a smidge different because I don't have any more of the red jasper. So since it is a rondelle, I am just gonna use those little spacers. That's fine. Here we have So I'm just grabbing the beads out first. Mm, I'm thinking I might have to use a little different um, bead caps because I used up all these kinds. But these ones are similar and these will work just fine. These are from the rose quartz strand. Another option might be from the heart chakra strand, which also has quite a few in there. I just kind of want to make sure they're all the same, really. So. That's all I'm doing. This one. And that's it. Okay. So we're ready to rock on this next portion. And I'm going to wear wrap them all up. Again, just using the same technique as the bracelet. And I'll be right back. Alrighty. So we're back. And I have decided that I will link these together and I'm going to grab a little bit of chain reaction. Now, I did have to change up some of the designs just a, just a little bit. Like I, I thought I was going to be able to use the bead caps, but they were just a little too big. So I just replaced them with some spacer beads no biggie easy peasy so i'm just going to connect this the same way i did the bracelet and then we will add our chain reaction As you can see here all of our colors are represented they may be a little bit some of them may be a little smidge bit different but they're still all represented so I've decided to go with this chain reaction which is number 26 um, and I just thought the darker crystals I would have I would either go with a clear I wanted to go with a clear but I could not find the number for the clear in my stash. So I was like, well, next best thing, we'll go for this one. So now all I'm going to do, which is one of the super fun things about chain reaction, is just add it on 
I'm going to raise you up a little bit so you can see the whole works here. And if you wanted to just use regular chain too, you know, you could. You can do whatever you want. I thought this will make it look kind of cool because we got all of our little stones and they're the only ones that are different color. Oh, now I'm just throwing jump rings. Um, and then all the other crystals are the same, so I thought that was kind of neat. So, just going to connect right here onto this crystal, just with the jump ring. Easy. And then, over here... I am going to disconnect this little piece of chain here just so they're both um, hooked onto a, a crystal. So I'm just going to give that a little snip. And then I'll just put him in my chain pile. One more jump ring. And then, all we have to do is find the middle here, which looks like this little bar is going to be the odd man out. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to zoom you guys in so you can't see this. What I'm going to do is I like to keep on the little ring because it's, wel it's a welded ring. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to snip this part of the bar. I'm going to get that off of there. And then this part looks like I'm going to do the same thing. You just have to very carefully snip just this portion. And then, you guys, all we have to do is add a lobster. So now, just so they match, I know this is a necklace and... Um, I probably could use this guy, but just so they match, I'm going to use the same lobster that we used last time. And I think for this one, I am just going to use one of these little beetle on ends. So these guys come on a little ring. So all you gotta do is find the split in the ring to open it up. Which is right here. And I just need one to close that back up. Whoa. <laughs> Put him in this nice little case, and I need one of these anyway, so I'll take one out of there. And then just put that in the littler of the two. And just like that, we have a necklace and a bracelet. 
with chakra represented. But wait, there's more. <laughs> okay, I am reaching for some beetle on memory wire. This is the large wire. And I'm just going to show you how I count out the links. So I pull this out, this half, and I don't count that. And I go one, two, three. And on the next one, I'm going to line it up with my other half, maybe a little over, about a half an inch. And I am searching for my Xron cutter. And you just put that in there like so. Give it a little snip. Easy, like cake. X-Ron Cutter. This X-Ron Cutter was available on Jesse James. I don't know if it is now. I think it is. If you are curious about that. And then what I'm going to do. Oh boy. Alright, what I'm going to do here is I am going to just take my round nose and I'm going to bend this around until it comes together to make an end. Okay, so now that we got that, that's our end we're going to be using. And you guys know what I'm going to do? Easy. I am going to take first the root chakra. What I have, oh, let me zoom in. What I have left of the root chakra and I'm going to string that onto the memory wire. So I am going to lead with this metal because I think that'll just be spectacular. This just came on the end of my beads and it's plastic. I want that. And got some crystals. So there's not going to be any rhyme or reason to the way I'm putting these on here. It's just going to be whatever is left. I'm just going to string it on. I'm just going to take that out of there. I'm just going to string it on to this memory wire. And you don't have to do this if you don't want to. If you wanted to take and make, you know, just earrings or whatever you want to make with your stuff, go ahead. I'm just showing a representation of how all of these beads can be utilized to make different projects. Okay. And thus far, all of them have fit on this size memory wire, so that is spectacular. And there they are. And that is what we had left of the root chakra. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of unslinky this. I'm going to zoom you out a little bit. I'm gonna unslinky this and just bring it down to the end so everything is down here where it's supposed to be. Okay. So that metal is really going to work good because nothing then crystal or, you know, otherwise will be hitting up against the edge of our thing, of our...
So, oh, here's what we had left of the crown chakra. <laughs> Chip can't figure out what he wants to do. My hound dog just wandering around. All right, so there is all of our chakra stones. Once I'm to the end, I'm just going to grab a hold of this end and bring it around. Okay, you get it there. There we go. All right, and now you guys, we have a spectacular all chakra stone bracelet going down until you get to the lava rocks. And I think we need a charm, so I'm probably going to use this guy for sure. And I'm going to grab a couple of charms for us, and I'll be right back. Oh, you know, you know what? Do I have a? Ch I was gonna say we could use, we could use one of these um, little extra beads. I was saying we could use for earrings. We could use those to wind up as charms. I got some little tiny ball head pins here. Let me see what I can do with that. But I would also like to put like a lotus flower or, you know, a Buddha or something on here. That would be cute. And they don't have to match either. You could use all your little coral. If they'll fit on there. Oh, it's a little small. That one's a little small. That one will fit. And that one will fit. Okay, let me go see what I can find for a lotus flower. I'll be right back. Well, I couldn't find a lotus flower, but you know what I did find? I found a seashell that looks like an ammonite. Ammonite? Ammonite. ammonite. And so they say that the circle 
represents like an infinity or a flow of energy. And I think that's what we need here. So I'm going to go for it. So all I'm going to do is I am just going to first connect. I'm going to put this guy on here so it hangs down a little bit dangly. Um, I think I want to use a smaller jump ring to do that. Maybe. Okay. So I'm actually going to use an oval jump ring here. Put him on our lava rock. Okay, now this part is going to be completely up to you. Do you want your lava rock to continue from your other lava rocks? Or whoop, do you want him to be on the other side? Hmm. I think I'm going to go with the continuation. We got this whole flow thing going for us. I'm going to go with go with that. So I'm just hooking right on to that um, memory wire. And there we go. Okay. And then for these other two little charmies we wrapped up here. I'm just going to connect them to the bottom. Maybe one to the bottom, one to the top. Not sure yet. Depends on what I what I'm feeling here. How about if you guys could see something? Would that be better? <laughs> there he is. Looking pretty good. Um, I think I'll connect this one to the top. And actually, I'm just going to, let's see. Yeah, I'll just hook right into the wire there. All right. And then this one on the bottom. So I usually love a double-sided charm for these bracelets. I always try to use double-sided or wound-up charms like we're using right here. So that way, whatever way you're wearing it and you're flipping your arm around, it works. Um, this one is not double-sided, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, so here is what we got. And... Just trying to get him straightened out here because this is the top of your bracelet, remember? The way that we put our beads on. So this is the top. And you guys, I really like it a lot. Should we put it on? Okay. Let me, let me zoom you out a, a smidge so, so you can see what I'm doing. Well, all right. Mm -hmm. I have a little tiny wrist, so sometimes it's hard to look. Everything looks ginormous on me, but there we are in all of our splendor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it a lot. All right, guys. I hope you enjoy this. I am going to get you some photos and... A little videos of all of the projects that we have made thus far. I hope that you enjoyed them. Just kind of show you everything we got here. We got these little earrings. All right. enjoyed these chakra projects I thought that they were really a lot of fun I really enjoyed making all five of the projects that we made um, if you like this or you try it please let me know in the comments what your experience was or if you liked it or not um, 
I would love to hear from you. I try to answer all the comments. Please, please, please make sure you're subscribed to my videos and that you're giving them a thumbs up and a share. This is all very helpful for me. And I will continue, be here continuing to make videos and do design for you guys. So I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.